skates ready. The outdoor skating rink in downtown Providence is now open. The opening of the Providence rink across from Kennedy Plaza was scheduled to open yesterday, but was postponed due to the heavy rains. Public skating is open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and weekends, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. A tree lighting at the rink is scheduled for December the 7th. Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Certainly feels like ice skating weather out there. It is pretty cold outside right now. Let's take a look at what's going on again in the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Despite some extra clouds around, we are dry right now. Temperatures are currently in the 20s in Smithfield and Providence. 27 Newport, 25 degrees over in New Bedford. Live city camp picture, real quiet looking down on downtown Providence. Nice and dry in Providence. We've got 26 degrees with a bit of wind from the west at five miles an hour. We have a wind chill factor what it feels like 21 degrees and notice we have uh, extra clouds around out there at the moment. Newport 27 over in New Bedford 25 degrees with a wind chill factor of 17 degrees. Clouds quite not quite have made it to uh, New Bedford, but eventually throughout the night we'll see some extra clouds in the sky. East Bay Retirement Living in East Providence 27 degrees with light winds, but notice how busy those winds were earlier in the day. 32 miles an hour. Our winds have calmed down a lot and they'll remain fairly quiet through the daytime tomorrow. Satellite radar picture showing this little deck of clouds working its way in. Mainly some mid-level clouds that'll be coming on through. We're not expecting any precipitation from these clouds and they'll be around first thing tomorrow morning and then exiting the area. Let's take a look at it with our uh, future cast. First for Saturday though, we are looking at dry skies, but the clouds will tend to work their way back into the region out ahead of a warm front, which could eventually give us some uh, rain and snow showers on on Sunday. Now let's take a look at this with our future guest. Here we are uh, this evening with these deck of clouds coming on through out of here by tomorrow morning. Here we are at 530 tomorrow uh, evening. Nice and quiet into Saturday morning. We're starting off with clear skies, but notice the clouds not too far away. The clouds tend to thicken up through the daytime on Saturday, but also take note no precipitation around just that deck of clouds uh, Saturday evening. And then we'll begin to see the chance for some rain and snow showers on uh, Sunday. Temperatures overnight will be uh, falling back a little bit into the uh, low to mid Mid 20s, especially up in northern Rhode Island through the morning tomorrow, rebounding a little bit into the uh, mid 30s for the afternoon and then falling back tomorrow evening. Once again, kind of cold in the uh, mid 20s. Typical uh, late November stuff. 21 degrees at around uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, I think, in the Providence area. 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, around 27. So a cold Black Friday. 36 degrees in the afternoon with sunshine on the east side. 35 Pawtucket, 36 degrees in Central Falls. Riverside, Barrington, Cranston, and Warwick. All in the mid to upper 30s. Winds a lot lighter from the northwest, 5 to 10 miles an hour. 36 in Wickford. Over in Hope Valley, 34. Northern Rhode Island temperatures should be time popping out in the uh, low to mid 30s up here. Southeastern Mass a smidge milder in the mid to upper 30s. 37 degrees in Fall River. Here's that seven day future cast Saturday a little bit colder 33, but notice the temperatures go up a little on Sunday. Chance for a few rain or snow showers dry Monday. Maybe seeing some snow showers on Tuesday then drying out for the rest of the week. Right now it doesn't look like either of those little bouts of rain or snow will amount to much. All right, that's good. That is I a good thing. Way. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11.